In this video, I'm going to introduce balancing chemical equations. So before we start, just need to explain where it comes from. The fact that we have to balance chemical equations comes from the law of conservation of mass, which you can see on the screen there. Any system that's closed to all transfers of matter, so that's stuff and energy, the mass of the system must remain constant over time. So in other words, you can't create or destroy matter. So we'll just look at a picture that kind of shows that. In the box on the left hand side, if you count up the white atoms, you can see you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and you've got 4 blue atoms. So they've obviously reacted with each other and they've made this substance here. And you can see that we've still got four blues and three, six, nine, twelve whites. So the mass or the matter has been conserved. So we'll start with this chemical equation. So we've got H2 hydrogen reacting with Cl2 chlorine to make a molecule of hydrogen chloride HCl. So what I sometimes like to do when I'm starting teaching this from scratch is if you visualize the atoms themselves you can see more clearly what's going on. So you can see we've got two H's on the left, that's the two there, but we've only got one on the right. So straight away you can see that the matter or the mass isn't going to be conserved at the moment. We've also got two chlorines on the left and only one on the right. So what we need to do is we need another hydrogen and another chlorine. What we can't do is change the formula of HCl that's fixed at HCl. So what we need to do is introduce another HCl molecule. And now if we count up the yellow H's, you can see there are two either side and there are two reds either side, two chlorines. And so that equation is effectively now balanced. So how would we write that? We would just put a big two in front of the HCl in this case. So here's another one. So we've got CH4, that's methane, reacting with oxygen, or two to make carbon dioxide and water. So again, visualize the atoms. So methane has one C and four H's. O2 is two oxygens bonded together. There's your CO2, there's your water. So straight away you can see that we've got one, two, three, four H's, but only two here. So we're gonna need another H2O molecule. Remember, we can't change the formula to H4O. That's not allowed. So the H's are sorted now. The C's are sorted. What about the O's? So we've got one, two, three, four on the right, but we've only got two on the left. So a quick fix for that would be another O2 molecule. And now if you count up, everything's balanced. So how would we write that as a chemical equation? We put a 2 in front of the O2, and we put a 2 in front of the H2O. Similar equation, this time we've got C3H8, that's called propane, again reacting with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. So there's the visualization and you can see we've got three C's on the left, only one on the right. And so I'm going to put three CO2s in. That's going to give me those three C's. H, H's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, only two there. So I'm going to need four water molecules all together. So there's my eight H's. And now we just need to sort out those oxygens, those all twos. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So if there's two in every oxygen molecule, we're going to need five of those. So five O2s, three CO2s, and four waters. And we'll finish with this one. H2 plus O2 making H2O. So there's the molecules. And again, you can see that we've got two H's either side, which is fine, but we've got two O's on the left and only one on the right. So we bring another water molecule into play, which has doubled up those hydrogens. So we're going to need two H2 molecules. And so it looks like that. Now, there is another way you can do this one. And you may not have seen this at GCSE, but instead of doing what we've just done, we can just put a half in front of that old two molecule. You're not saying we're just going to react the H2 with an oxygen atom. That's not what we're saying. Because if you see in the equation, the formula is still O2. What we're saying is that every hydrogen molecule only needs half the amount of oxygen, O2. What we're talking about is molar relationships or molar quantities. So effectively, this equation is saying that for every one mole of H2, we only need half that quantity, half a mole of O2. And that's going to produce one mole of H2O. So, some for you to try. So, if you want to pause the video and have a go at balancing those equations, and then when you're ready, press play and I'll show you the answers. So the first four, there's your first answer. The second one is actually already balanced. So there's the next one. And there's the next one. And the next five is that one. The next one is actually already balanced. So there's the next one. I'm going to use a fraction in this one. There it is there. Now, if you don't like that, you would need to double everything up. So you would have a 2 in front of this. You'd have a 25 in front of the O2. You'd have a 16 in front of there. And you would have an 18 in front of the water. Now, as you get further into the course, Sometimes you have to write equations like this. Certain equations you have to write like this. So it's not going to do you any harm to start getting used to this um, method. And the last one is that. 